the Corral Colony sends in a raiding party. It's a fast, coordinated attack. The smaller colony doesn't stand a chance. The spoils of war are dragged out into the sunlight. Not everyone gives up without a struggle. But resistance is futile in the face of such overwhelming odds. Nothing is left behind. Eggs, larvae, workers, pupae, all carried back to the corral nest. Loaded with honey, the repletes are the most valuable plunder of all. Some are dismembered and drained underground. Others are dragged to the surface and hauled back to the victor's nest. But they can be a real challenge to maneuver across no man's land. This is how most clashes between honey ant colonies are played out. Invariably, the winner is the one that has the superior numbers. Sometimes captured broods are added to the victorious colony's nursery to be raised as their own. But not here, not today. Everything pillaged from the raided nest is processed for long-term storage. The difficulty with captured honey pots is getting at the honey. The workers are forced to chew through the body, removing the head and thorax, leaving behind an open barrel to be drained at leisure. The raid couldn't have come at a better time. It's filled the corral colony's larders, ensuring its 2,000 inhabitants will be well fed through the approaching winter. But just as importantly, a rival nest that could have threatened the Queen's reign has been eliminated. 